Sunshine Band for that. <laughs> Wonderful close out of our testimony. What a testimony. Amen. That all I want to do is serve you, Lord. Amen. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. Most gracious and heavenly Father, we come with a heart full of praise and thanks for your many wonderful blessings that you have bestowed upon us. We thank you for Jesus, who came that we might live and not die. His grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. Father, you are the great I am. And beside thee there is none other. You sent forth your son into the world that we might live and not die. Your grace enabling us to stand and withstand in this evil day. We thank you for just being there when we need you the most. You've cared for us through seen and unseen danger, and for these things we are most grateful. Father, bless us now as we come to this portion of the service. We ask that you will feed us with wisdom from on high, granting us a little more grace as we run this race and then leading us all on the glory each and every step of the way. In the name of Jesus Christ, we do pray, and for his sake, we thank you. Together can we all say, amen. 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 Give an honor to God and to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. To the ministers of the gospel, the diggings, to the congregation, and our visitors today, we say good afternoon, and may God bless you. For well, truly God is good and his mercy endure to all generations. Amen. Thank God for the scroll which reads obedience, love, reverence, and respect that is first to God, then to leadership, and then to one another. We thank God for his blessings, great and small, and for the beauty of the day, how that God has granted us just a little more grace. Weeping doth endure for a night but joy cometh in the morning. Sometime in the middle of the night when you're suffering and going through something, you can say, if I can just make it till the morning. There's something about that new day where God's compassion is renewed unto us. And guess what? He's faithful. Not like man who sometime, he might be here today and he might not. But God is always on time. If you're sitting here today, whether it is 88 years, every day God has put breath in your nostrils. Now how faithful is that? Amen. If you're sitting here, you're breathing because of God. I formed man from the dust of the ground. I breathed into man's nostrils the breath of life. The man became a living soul, and we live by him, and we thank God for that. Thank God for the sparks from the anvil on page three of your programs today. First one says, your life can't be straight without a straight gospel. There's a lot of turmoil in the world today, and it's because of a mixed up, diluted philosophy of who God is. But if you got a straight gospel, amen, it'll help straighten you out. And your life will be more pleasurable, enjoyable, and you'll have the strength to endure because the gospel is designed to get right into your personal business right down deep where you hide those secret things. Amen. Well, the word of God will go right on down there and dig it right on up 
and bring it out to the forefront that you might see yourself most of all and what you need to do as an individual to correct the error of your way. So your life can't be straight without a straight gospel. Second one said, this is a cold world. Amen. And it needs the spirit of the gospel to warm it. Herein is our responsibility. Because the world is in a sad shape right now, church. When people forget God, when people who knew God turn from God, then that's the adversary's opportunity to attack. And he can get you because you have gone away from your protection. You see, the closer you are to God, the less influence and impact Satan can have on you. Back in the old days, they used to have the old pot belly stove in the church or at home. And people would love to get around in the cold winter, get next to that pot belly stove. Because that's when they get warmed up. Amen. Same thing with God. The closer you are to God, the less impact the coldness of this world can and will affect you. So you get away from God, you get cold. You get close to God, you get warm. Amen. And everyone loves to be warm, especially in the coldness of the winter. Amen. So this is a cold world that we're living in, and it needs the spirit of the gospel to warm it up. This is our responsibility, church. Amen. Amen. The third says, I am glad that in the midst of the crowd, there are some who will receive the gospel. Yeah. Amen. And truly, receiving of the gospel, as Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth from the mouth of God. In order to survive in this day, we need the gospel. Amen? On the back of your programs, it says, as Jesus Christ was to ascend back to God from whom he came, he left instructions to his disciples that they were to go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So it behooves us who are of this day especially of this day, to proclaim not a different gospel, not a different avenue, but the same gospel. As the old folks said, it was good enough for Paul and Silas. Amen. And it's good enough for me. Give it that old time religion. Because this new contemporary stuff nowadays, church, ain't getting it and excuse my English it ain't getting it amen it'll last for a while it'll tickle your flesh and afterwards it's gone but I thank God for the unadulterated gospel which was preached years ago and it is our responsibility to continue in that same path amen Hereby shall all men know that you are my disciples if you have love one toward the other. Amen. So we thank God. <clears throat> thank God for each and every one of you. Thank God for saving me. Thank God for the mind, the willingness, desire, the determination. Thank God for his blessings, great and small, and for the power of God, which is unto salvation to all that believe. Father, it is a blessing to know God. And then, too, it is a blessing to be known of God. Yes. Amen. It's one thing to know God, but does he know you? Amen. Amen. Are you known of him? Yes. And if you are, in what capacity do he know you? Amen. So I thank God 